It's such a lovely day, I thought I'd potter around in the front garden and get out some of those naughty weeds that have popped up. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back or pinch my sedum. Now we've only talked about pinching annuals, but there are certain perennials which benefit from pinching and sedum is one of them. Sedum cuttings take extremely easily, so I've taken, I've got a vase of water here and I'm going to pick some best stems and I'm going to root them in the water and I'll show you how to do that. But first of all, let's show you the sedum which is over here, there we go. Now, if you leave this to grow, I mean, it will be beautiful, but what will happen is the stems will get really, really thick. And eventually what happens is you get these big dinner plate flowers and then they fall over. So if you've got sedum in your garden, you might already know what I mean by chopping them. It's called a Chelsea chop. You tend to do it around the Chelsea flower show time, but I'm finding that the garden is looking so abundant at the moment that you actually notice that you've chopped them less if you do it now and then what that does is when the plant regrows it's pinched so you have more flowers on shorter stems and they don't flop all over your paths. A Chelsea chop sedum are just starting to come into flower now can you see they're nice and neat they don't need any support because they're not falling over nice and compact Okay, I'm going to use this guy as my example because you can see how big and thick the stems already are on this. Now, you don't need to take a lot off to get it to pinch, but you can use them for flower arranging. So if you were looking to do and the arrange along that we did yesterday, you don't have any foliage, sedum foliage, because it roots in the vase, will last weeks and weeks and weeks. So your arrangement will carry on looking great for a very long time. There we go. And I've taken this one out here. If you're horrified and you're a bit nervous about doing it, what you could always do is take out half the stems and leave half in place, which will flower earlier on big fat dinner plate stems, and then half will flower later. Over the years I've tried it all, and personally, I prefer being brave and chopping them all down now, especially as we're doing it a little bit early when the garden is a little bit more abundant and overflowing, and then hopefully you'll barely notice. So if you want to have a go at taking your own sedum cuttings, and honestly, it's so easy, you will feel like a genius. <laughs> and I also think they look like those succulents, which are so fashionable in bouquets. So you've got your stem and then just pop that in the vase. The vase needs to be nice and deep with water. Um, you can arrange flowers in it as well. It won't do them any harm whatsoever. And then after about three weeks, this jug will be a mass of stems and then you can just pop them up or plant them straight into the garden. Couldn't be more simple. So just to finish this segment off nicely, this is my peony patch and we have edged it in a sedum hedge. And basically what happened was one year, I couldn't bear the thought of throwing away all my Chelsea chops onto the compost heap. So I just planted them. I planted them direct. I didn't even try and root them first. And then I was astonished to find that they all near enough took. So now my Chelsea chop, that teach me won't. Now my Chelsea chop takes me all day. <laughs> I wanted to show you this. Do you remember we pinched the sedum and took cuttings? If we can see where we pinched it now. It's all very well hidden. Right down there. See, you can't even see but look at the result. So rather than having one giant floppy dinner plate sedum, we've now got this hedge. And you can see I've interplanted it with snapdragons. So the peonies are over, they've been deadheaded, but all the foliage has been left in place. And then I had a few spaces, so I put a few snappity snaps in there. Oh, good Lord. So this is the sedum hedge that we Chelsea chopped. Do you remember at the beginning of the year? It's on highlights if you missed it. But we Chelsea chopped it so that it wouldn't need staking, so that it would have lovely mounds of uniform flowers in a size that's actually useful in a vase. It looks absolutely brilliant. I love it. I'll show you this. This is our sedum journey. This is the sedum hedge now. Look at it, it's all self-supporting. You could just pick those stems and put them in a vase of water, couldn't you? A few dahlias with them, perfect filler flower. Who'd have thought? 
the humble sedum. The dahlia garden is looking magnificent this evening and I can't believe that we've still got snaps. If you missed out on our snaps, don't worry, we will be restocking these. I've just about finished tidying up my sedum around the peony bed. Do I need any more cuttings? No. Can I resist it? No. <laughs> this is peony coral charm.